Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. As we mentioned earlier and been showing you video tonight, uh, a good part of the nation dealing with uh, some storminess. But here in New England, boy, it's been relatively quiet of late. Haven't had a significant storm yet. In fact, on live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar with clear skies, well, we don't see anything as far as precipitation. So uh, staying dry and clear throughout the evening hours and overnight as the dry air holds strong. Now, we are tracking a storm out west, which will actually bring a brief hint of spring among other varieties of weather. We'll show you the timetable on that in just a second. Meanwhile, downtown Providence, clear skies. The, the moon is out. Temperatures now have been ranging from the upper 20s to uh, lower 30s. Wind chill now at 20. North breeze at 14 and a relative humidity at 69%. Temperatures in the upper 20s to lower 30s. Taunton into Bedford at 31. Providence at 30. Newport 32. Out towards coastal Connecticut from uh, westerly to Groton and looking good out in Niantic. Temperatures now in the uh, upper 20s. As we check out the conditions uh, south and east of New England, you can see a storm system on the edge of your screen pulling away. Pretty intense storm at that. And behind that, Canadian high pressure building in. This will just reinforce the dry air uh, over New England over the next roughly day to two days before that west coast storm, which we can now see uh, at least a piece of it, some of the moisture across the northern plains. Uh, this will reorganize and head our way. The timetable appears to be Sunday night and especially on Monday. Meanwhile, overnight tonight, looking at clear skies as temperatures drop through the lower 20s. Some spots may get down to 18, 19 degrees around 5 o'clock in the morning. So sunshine to start your Saturday morning, 6 a.m. at 20. By 11 o'clock in the morning, we're recovering to 30. And then during the afternoon, blue skies continue. I mean, chilly, but temperatures where they should be for this time of year in the middle 30s by 2 o'clock in the afternoon at around 35. All right, city by city and town by town for your Saturday afternoon, showing a north breeze at 5 to 15. On average, temperatures will range somewhere between, say, 35 and 37 degrees. Coventry at 36. Bright sunshine across the northern part of the state. Head out towards southeastern Mass, the Cape, and the islands looking at blue skies, chilly and dry, New Bedford 37 and Taunton 35. All right, that West Coast storm, we take you to Sunday and how the day will play out is we'll start with sun in the morning, clouds take over in the afternoon, very late in the day towards evening, a little bit of mist and drizzle. This green represents very heavy rain, even some thunderstorms, and that arrives later Sunday night and especially on Monday. So we are talking about a spring-like storm and not a snowstorm on Monday. Wind-driven, heavy rain, temperatures in the 50s, perhaps the rumble of thunder. Could be some street flooding. We'll keep an eye on it. And then cooling off and drying out the remainder of next week as temperatures start to get chilly again, though nothing unusual, with highs between, say, 30 and 32 by uh, midweek. You talked about uh, skiing. Uh, you know, the big ski areas up north can deal with the, uh, the, the rain because the snowpack is so deep. But, you know, even locally, there's still snow on the ground. Your backyard may be bare. You know, places like Yagu Valley and Wachusett, they're still skiing. Not my backyard. You know, that, no, you know, there's plenty of snow oh, even a, in the driveway. Is this an unusual winter so far? It's been about on par as far as snowfall, though the month of January has been running uh, colder than normal up until the last couple of days. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Tony. Yeah. Coming up next, the Eyewitness News, a risky rescue to help save man's best friend.